Hey guys, this is Steve from HATM Design and Web and I'm bringing you another quick video today on WordPress and how we can use it most to your advantage. So let's get right into it. Um, let's go to one of our WordPress pages that we've been designing for one of our clients and we'll log in. You simply put your username and your password that we will supply to you when we have uh, designed your site and uploaded it for you. Now we're going to assume from this that you've watched the first video that you'll have watched our first video about how to add new posts and how to add new pages into your WordPress uh, page. So from the here on in, I'm going to show you how within a post you can add images or even pages as well. It's pretty much the same. That's the beauty of WordPress. So let's let's uh, find one of the posts here. So we're going to click Posts, Edit, and here we are. We've got two posts on the site already. Let's open the site up that we're currently working with just to show you what we mean. Uh, again, it's our um, Get In There website for WeZimbabwe.org, a great charity. And we'll just go to the blog because we're doing it on posts here right now. And, and as you can see, our, ex our example post is still here, the hello everyone from the previous video with the different examples of what you can and then there's the other one here which is below that, as you can see. So, we will edit this. We'll click, what you will run your mouse over it and you will click edit, or you can do a quick edit, but I would say edit. Here we go, and we're in there now. There's the title and the text has appeared here. We're in the visual editor, which is which is fine. And it is so easy to add an image. Let's just pick a random image. Uh, tell you what we'll do. We'll go to Google and we'll find an image. Let's look for Africa. Okay, and now we've got a nice image of Africa here. It's not too big, it's not too small. But let's just let's save that to our desktop. If you're on a PC, I'm sure, I think, I think it'll be something like save your image, save target as, I believe. But I'm just going to drag this onto my desktop. I'm on a Mac here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do that with PCs these days as well. Okay, it's not letting me drag it. I'll just save image as. Desktop, Africa 2. Okay. Right, let's go back to WordPress. And now, if you want to add your image, all you do is you look here. Above everything, you'll see upload slash insert. And then you'll see this one image next to it that says add an image. Click that. The screen will go dark and this, H, this hood will display in the center. What you want to do is when this is loaded, you click select files. Now with this select files, you can add as few or as many images as you wish. But for now, we're just going to add the one. But if you want more, you can select more. But for now, we're just going to select our Africa image. We're going to click open and it'll upload that. As you see, it does it pretty quickly. It depends on how big your image is. Uh, I'll try to keep it quite low if you can help it. And here is where your title is. Obviously, it's called Africa 2 uh, from the image. So we'll change that to Map of Africa. You don't have to do this. I just find that it helps. And the alternative text, Map of Africa. A uh, quick tip on this as well, actually. If you add in alternative text and a, and a proper title, it actually really helps with the search engine optimization and such. So I would recommend it. Okay. Okay, so we also have the caption here in the description. I don't always necessarily put those in, but feel free. Add for your own reference or whatever else, someone else's reference. This is your link URL. This is exactly where your uh, images have been uploaded to. You might need that in the future for whatever reason. Uh, you might need to keep it in mind. And you've got your alignment how you want it to look on your page. You've got left, center, or right. Again, it's really simple to understand. Uh, and of course, you can select it as a thumbnail, a medium size, or a full size. We're just going to put it as the full size here. And we're going to insert it into post in the center of the page. That's the default, but we'll do that now. Insert into post, and it'll just do that. There it is. So let's update that. There we go, post updated. Now we'll go back to the blog, and we will refresh. Now we're on the main page here, and as you can see, it has displayed the image right here. It's as simple as that, really. But, I know what you might be thinking, actually. Perhaps this image is a little big, so why don't we go and change that? So what you can then do, 
Uh, by the way, you can resize this. Uh, your main area, you can resize it. You can resize all these windows. So let's do that, and now we'll click the image. Now, when we click the image, you can see this. This means delete the image. This means that you can edit it. Again, we'll go into this nice HUD. You can change whether you want it in the center, the right, or the left, if you're not sure. Uh, there's the URL again, but you've got advanced settings up here at the top. Click the advanced settings. You can change the size from here. Say we want it at, I don't know, uh, let's call it 300 by uh, 350. That's not going to make it look great. I, I, would, I would keep it in mind. Um, I would keep a perspective on it if I were you. I'm just using that as, as an example. You can add a border if you wish. For example, you could add a three pixel border, as you can see it there, and you can change the color and then the styles. Um, let's make it, you know, let's leave it a solid black actually. Uh, and you can have vertical spaces and horizontal spaces. That's if you've got if you've got text next to your image and you don't want them to be quite so squashed up. So let's say 10 pixels by 10 pixels. Um, yeah. So we can go to edit image again and. No, I think we're done here. Uh, what else we got? Uh, other stuff down here, not necessarily important here, but it's just if uh, if you're more technical with it. So we'll click update, and the image is there, and you can see this sort of a 10 pixel border under there. If we do this, oops, if oops, sorry, if we do this, you'll see. Sorry, did it again. There is a gap here, you know what you've specified as the amount of space that you would like. Have a play, you know, you'll, you'll figure that out. It's, it's nice and simple. You, you will figure it out. Um, yep, it, it, it really is as simple as that. And it's exactly the same on a post, you know, on a, on a sorry, on a page. Uh, when you type in your text, you can add images, um, you know, and, and just do what you want with it, basically. And it's as simple as that. So let's update that and take a quick look at it. Now refresh, and you see the image is there, it's got some space between that and the text, and uh, and that's it really, that's how you add images into WordPress, it really is that simple. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it guys, uh, feel free to contact us if you're interested in getting us to create a website for you, and uh, yeah, the details are at the end of the video. Thanks a lot guys.